Good morning, this is Larry McMillan with a stock market comment on Monday, <clears throat> May 16th. So last week the market moved to new lows, uh, uh, continuing the pattern of uh, lower highs and lower lows. And then on Friday we had another one of those big uh, rallies. The previous two have been just one day rallies. The market quickly moved back to new lows. Uh, this morning the market is down, not substantially though, so uh, this one might be a little bit different. But typically oversold rallies can rally up to about the uh, declining 20-day moving average, which right now for S&P 500 is, is around 4170. Uh, above that, there's resistance at 4300. Uh, a close above 4300 would uh, be positive. That would uh, lock in a new McMillan volatility band buy signal, but I'm not really expecting that to happen. Um, <clears throat> the equity-only uh, put call ratios are still rising, meaning they're still on sell signals. They're obviously very, in very oversold territory now because they're so high on their charts. But we would need to see them roll over and begin to trend lower before a buy signal occurs. Uh, breadth did improve on Friday. In fact, Friday was a 90% up day in volume, uh, advancing volume versus declining volume in terms of both New York Stock Exchange and stocks only data. But the breadth oscillators are still on uh, sell sales even after that. So it's going to take another day or two of positive breadth to move these breadth oscillators over to buy signals. And again, that's been hard to come by. Uh, there was a <clears throat> what we call an oscillator differential buy signal. That's a very short term thing and we're not actually trading that waiting, uh, preferring to wait and see what the regular red oscillators do. New uh, lows on the New York Stock Exchange dropped sharply and as well as in uh, NASDAQ and stocks only terms. Um, but the new highs did not increase much. So this indicator is still negative. It's going to take uh, some more, more work from here uh, in that new highs would have to outnumber new lows and new highs would have to be a, a substantial number, say more than 100 on the New York Stock Exchange in order for us to get a buy signal. So that's not happening right now either. We do have a buy signal from uh, VIX. Once again, the spike peak buy signal is in place. Uh, that's been a tenuous thing in the last couple of um, months but there is one in place right now. The uh, more intermediate term trend of VIX is still bearish as VIX remains above, well above, its 200-day moving average, which is down around 22. Uh, finally, the construct of volatility derivatives has kind of turned neutral. The term structure is flat. It did, uh, did manage to avoid a major sell signal, but this is not uh, bullish uh, with a flat term structure. So, Right now, that indicator is just uh, sort of wait and see status. So right now, um, we're still maintaining our core bearish position because of the downtrend in SPX and the uptrend in VIX. But we will trade confirmed uh, buy signals from our other indicators around that as we have taken a position, a small position on the long side because of the VIX spike peak buy signal. So I invite you to uh, visit our website, uh, check out our newsletters where we cover these things daily. And meanwhile, have a great week trading.